Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back to my new video. Like uh, in a previous video, we can able to see accessibility ID, how we can able to take, how to recognize and how we can able to do for automation side by using Python, right? Now in this video session, we are going to do for to using for XPath and similar format uh, last video accessibility time after that I chose XPath as well on the one format which I showed okay this is a format we took for XPath right now similar format even we can able to use for XPath to click for that Chrome driver okay how we can able to do it and we can able to see here now I'm going to use for my Python file locator to I'm going to paste it which I copied okay now here by using for locator here I'm going to use it for uh, before connecting to the app I'll uh, we need to run for appm server running appm server appm iphone iphone p Four seven to four. Okay, this is to connecting for Appium uh, Inspector to our this particular emulator. Okay, once this server is up and running, now your driver is connecting, and almost Appium Chromium also started. Now any one of the server we can able to communicate. Now I'm going to hit for this one and to communicate with that particular. This desired capability and everything I showed into my previous videos. Please go through that. You can able to understand how this desired capability works. Okay. Now, if you click this particular uh, Chrome, you can able to see the XPath is provided here. I'll copy this XPath. I'll open my notepad and I'll paste it. See now two slashes with a tag and this is a on attribute attribute value. This is basically when you are doing for UI automation that is like a tag name. Tag name and at the rate attribute equal to double quotation low attribute value double quotation close this is the way we are going to do it right the similar format here as well we are doing okay how to do this particular one okay now if you open again our emulator now you can see if you come little bit there is a class name that is called android.wd get dot text view this is the there right this is the one we become a tag name any place we can able to like uh, any app if you are going to take right that moment which is the tag name it is presented the tag name that is called class name okay which is a tag name if you go for ui tag name become input or something which is a, a, a html tag right the similar format the here appm also class name become a tag name okay we need to remember that name you have to use it okay then you can able to choose text or content description any one of them okay then you need to use and you need to uh, click that particular element okay any one you can able to use here where is this and here can uh, content content description is there right in that particular location you can able to use for text as well if you use a text also it will work okay now I'm going to take for my X, but here I'm going to here and I'll replace here dot appm dot. Now X path and X path value. I'm going to keep it in here. Okay, this is my X path. And after that, I need to enter for my name in my X path location. Okay, both the cases you can able to work together. And you need to remember that how the XPath need to be written. Okay. This tag name become a class name. 
okay that you have to remember tag name become a class name okay attribute name you can able to use attribute name you can use anything okay attribute value that particular attribute value if you go for class context there is a value we become it attribute value is there right that have attribute with that value text that attribute value like that you have to use okay it will not work out for element and element value it will not work and also index portion this two it will not work okay package you can try no issue but most of the time any one of them for class or context description anything that will work for you for export creation okay but remaining things it will not work okay and if i run now you can see now here it will open for it will click for that particular uh, uh, chrome driver chrome browser then it will enter for value inside that chrome driver it is clicked but it is loading very because it is taking more time to loading that's why it is not able to click that one uh, it is not able to enter the value okay we'll see time dot sleep will work or not not sure whether it will work because we need to work right something it will work see it is clicked actually it is chrome it is clicked but it is waiting for a long time shit time dot sleep is not working as expected one more time we'll see in a uh, time location like uh, i'll explain you for how to wait for some wait techniques how we can able to use in this particular location that i will explain you for later video sessions now you can see edit also or like uh, my name also it is entered that particular text box as well okay this is a way we can able to use for xpath i hope it this concept is very small but uh, don't worry and next video sessions we can able to see time waiting how we can able to wait the time and clicking that element how we can able to click the some apps and do some operation this all the things we'll see in the later video sessions okay thank you for watching